BTEC Applied Science Unit 1 Chemistry Calculations in Solutions. Now this is an important video because uh, in Unit 2 one of your experiments as in it's an assessed practical one of your assignments will involve a titration and when you do a titration and you do all the calculations and stuff this is what we're talking about in this video so it's very important to understand this video you need to have got your head round the last few videos all about moles and relative atomic masses and things so this is a, a very important video calculations in solutions so what do i mean if we have a solution what do i mean if it's dilute or if it's concentrated I mean, pretty straightforward. If I add more and more Ribena to water, it becomes more and more concentrated, doesn't it? So the concentration tells us how much is dissolved in a certain amount of water. So what would concentration be measured in? So the amount of stuff dissolved in a certain amount of water. Now, the amount of water, uh, it's per litre. Now, a litre, there's a, a bottle of water, uh, a litre is a thousand millilitres, milli means a thousandth, uh, or a thousand centimetres cubed, or one decimetre cubed, dm cubed. They use that in chemistry quite a bit. So uh, a litre is a thousand millilitres or a thousand centimetres cubed. I think those are the two that we're going to be worried about most. Okay, so it's the amount dissolved in a thousand centimetres cubed in a litre. And when I say the amount, it's the number of moles. So it's the number of moles per decimetre cubed. The number of moles per litre is the concentration. If you look at this triangle here, you might find it very useful to learn this triangle. Okay, N and C and V. So the concentration C is the number of moles divided by the volume. So if 16 grams of sodium hydroxide is dissolved in 200 centimeters cubed of water, calculate its concentration. So how many moles and how many liters? Now, what is the mass of a mole of sodium hydroxide? Uh, how many moles is 16 grams? Work out the concentration. So, uh, a mole of sodium hydroxide is 40 grams. That's the relative formula mass. Uh, and so 16 grams will be 16 over 40, which is 0.4 moles. And so the concentration will be 0.4 divided by 0.2. Uh, hopefully you can see why it's 0.2 because it's 200 centimeters cubed so that's 0.2 of a liter of a decimeter cubed so two moles per decimeter cubed we usually don't write moles per decimeter cubed on the bottle it would just be written as two capital m two molar yes if you see two molar that means moles per decimeter cubed Here's some questions for you to have a go at. 30 grams of sodium chloride dissolved in 500 mils of water. Work out the concentration. So for each one, work out the number of moles, then divide that by the volume in decimeters cubed. Here's another question. What mass of sodium hydroxide would be needed to make a solution with a concentration of 0.015 moles per decimeter cubed. A 0.015 molar solution uh, when mixed with 500 mils of water. Okay, so what mass of sodium hydroxide would you dissolve in 500 mils of water to get that concentration? So we're just going to use the triangle again. Okay, so this time C 
is n over v, so n equals c times v. Uh, so c is 0.015, uh, v is 0.5, and so that is 0.0075 moles. Uh, one mole of sodium hydroxide is 40 grams, so the mass of sodium hydroxide will be 0.3 grams. That's using the triangle we did a couple of videos ago, which you should remember. And this is getting on to the, the meaty stuff. This is the kind of stuff we really need to be able to do. It doesn't get harder than this, by the way. Uh, you've got a titration here, and you've got 200 centimeters cubed of hydrochloric acid. You don't know its concentration. That's what we want to work out. But what we find is that um, 34 centimeters cubed of sodium hydroxide is needed to neutralize it. So what is the concentration of the hydrochloric acid? Can you work that out? Okay, so what you need to do is work out the number of moles of sodium hydroxide. You need to know what the equation is, and I believe in the equation it's just one to one. So you know the number of moles of HCl, and you know the volume you can work out the concentration. Do it. This would be a, a homework if you were in my class. 